Hello everyone and welcome to the under 19A Penergy All-Ireland Schools Cup Final between Mercy Mount Hawk of Tralee and St Malachy's of Belfast. Um, starting lineups for today, St Malachy's number 5 Luke Donnelly, number 9 Jake McCodder, 11 Michael Donnelly, 12 Jake Kahlo and 22 Brian Kahlo. On Mercy Mount Hawk it's Eddie Sheehy 5, Evan Boyle 10, Rowan Grattan at 12, 14 Daniel Bowler and 21 Donald O'Sullivan. My name is Paul Carr and I'm joined in the commentary box by Connor Meaney. Connor, two schools who are well used to the big stage and um, back in the All-Ireland Cup final again. What kind of game do you think we can expect? Yeah, so I'm excited about this. It should be a, a great game. Obviously, two high-level coaches, uh, John Dowling and Adrian Fulton. And as I said, two schools with a lot of pedigree. So uh, it should be a really uh, entertaining game. Mount Talk obviously just won the under 16A and a few of those players are playing again here so uh, it'll be interesting to see if that has a big effect on the game. And just stepped out of bounds there so that score won't count from Brian Kahlo. Um, yeah, as you said, two, two very good coaches, Adrian, the assistant coach on the Irish Senior Men's and John, the head coach of the Garvey's Tralee Warriors. John, looking for a very successful week if he can win this after winning the 16s and then a cup final to look forward for Tralee this weekend. And it's number five with the ball. Ball goes to the corner and shots up from Mercy Mount Hawk. Try base time and that will be a foul for number 14 Daniel Bowler who will go to the line for two misses the first But sinks the second, and that's a one point lead for Mount Hawk. Ball here for St. Malachy's, looking for the three pointer, can't get it to fall. Rebound inside by Luke Donnelly. Drive and kick to Jake McCotter, who gets the basket. Yeah, really nice cut down the middle of the lane there, my McCotter. And it's kind of what you'd expect from an Adrian Fulton coach team. Lots of guards able to handle the ball. They cut well and work well together. She finds Donald O'Sullivan inside for two. And Mount Hawk regain the lead. Malachy's driving baseline. Doesn't get the call. Again, a cut down the centre, but they can't find him this time. Takes the three and doesn't get it to go, rebound by Evan Boyle Eddie Sheehy with the ball for Mount Hawk Malachy's applying the pressure a bit too over aggressive there and that's going to be a foul for Mount Hawk It's nice seeing two teams come out though and play man to man defence it's something we don't see enough of in schools and we saw Mercy Waterford doing it really successful in the under 19 a girls final this morning in their win so it's good to see both teams doing it and, and playing it really well as well so far and ball does doesn't go intercepted by ryan callow for malachy's who gets it at the top of the three lines up the shot but can't get it fall gets his own rebound drives and pedal again can't get that to fall and mount high are out on the break, nice pass there. Can't get it to finish. Bit of nerves in the early stage, a lot of missed shots and missed layups so far, Connor. Yeah, it's kind of normal in a lot of these finals. You see it that there's a nice pull up, but it, it takes a while for teams to settle down and uh, they, they've been waiting a while for this game today. So uh, as you see, a backcourt call, not fully sure if that was the right call but yeah you see it, it sometimes takes a teams a while to get settled down and obviously we've also talked about how they play aggressive man-to-man -man defense so sometimes people can rush things a little bit when they do get opportunities nice drive inside there for Malachy's but they can't get it to fall 
And it is Eddie Sheehy with the ball for Mount Hawk. Nice move inside and gets it to fall. A lovely fake as if he was going to come back out and then drove back baseline. It's the Jordan move against the Knicks. Not quite the same finish, but it was still an impressive finish by Sheedy. And yeah, and here is that man, Eddie Shee, with the ball. Also forced the turnover after making the basket. And here he goes again, drives, tries to find inside and does and score there from Donald O'Sullivan for Mount Hawk. Yeah, O'Sullivan's the biggest body on the floor and he's already scored two baskets. A nice layup there for number 11, Michael Donnelly of Malachy's. And we have a one point game. Brian Carlo putting the pressure on Eddie Sheehy. Slowing him coming up the court. They missed the communication there. And a lovely basket by Eddie Sheehy. Yeah, Sheehy, Sheehy's imprint is all over this game so far. He's done a great job pushing the ball, getting in the lane. So he's been the difference maker so far. And he gets the steal again for Mount Hawk. And we have a foul. Try to reach in for the steal there, just a little bit late. Was Luke Donnelly. And we have subs on the Malachy's team. Number seven, Connell McGurr. And number 13, Sal Shertlock coming in for Malachy's. As Ryan Callow and Michael Donnelly take a seat. And Malachy's forced the turnover. Malachy's looking to try to get inside. Nice spin move and nice finish there by Jake Kalo. Mount Hawk looking for the answer. Eddie Sheehy again. Finds the ball inside. Comes back out to him. Drives middle. Kicks again. And that's going to be a foul on Donald Sullivan. He'll go to the line for two. And that will be Malachy's fourth foul. If they foul one more time, any foul will become a shooting foul. With Mount Hawk going to the line for two. Connor, fast pace start to this game. What have you seen from both sides? Yeah, look, uh, Donald Sullivan at the line. He's had a big impact. We said he's the most physical player on the, on the floor. He's uh, sticking around the basket area down the far end. They're trying to bring him out to the per perimeter and attack him. But uh, it's a couple of fouls. All the fouls are on Maliki's side so far. So it's something to watch out for particularly with uh, Kalo uh, I think it was Jake yeah Jake uh, one of the two brothers he picked up his second foul there in that last one so that could be an interesting thing to watch out for and that's a big shot there for Mount Hawks is Rowan Gratton with the three and it's Malachy's with the ball trying to answer with a three of their own but doesn't fall and so Sullivan with the rebound Sheehy trying to organise this Mount Hawk team. Gets the ball into the high post. Nice driving kick. And this time the three doesn't fall and Malachy's come away with it and the break could be on. Gets the ball back and a foul for Jake McCotter. So he gets the basket and will go for a line for one more. Yeah, the McCutter name, a big part of Belfast basketball. I think we have a timeout on the floor, do we? Yes, we do. We'll be back after that.
And we're back with 2.07 left in the first. Mount Hawk with a three-point lead on St. Malachy's. And it's going to be McCotter going to the line for one. Trying to make a three-point play. But he can't get it to fall. And it's going to be Mount Hawk ball. She bring it up the floor for Mount Hawk. Finds Bowler inside. Nice kick. Oh. Just stepped out of bounds by Rowan Gratton. And it's going to be Malachy's ball. It's so refreshing though. It's a proper offense. Defense helping across. Made the right read. Two teams are playing team basketball. So often in schools basketball you see one or two players dominating games. But this has been two teams going at it and tactically going at it doing all the right stuff which is what you'd hope to see at under 19A in level it's going to be Malachy's ball from the end line finds McCotter gets the shot up doesn't get it to fall and that's going to be Mount Hawk ball uh, he tried to draw the contact and then give himself some space but it's something that a lot of Irish players aren't great at particularly at underage level of Creating contact, creating space for themselves, or finishing through contact. And he ended up having a tough shot. It was good defense. Here's Evan Boyle. Tries to find Fowler inside again, but doesn't get it. And it's going to be Malachy's ball. McCotter driving to the basket and gets it to fall for another two. And we have a one point game. Yeah, you're seeing it already the difference between the two teams where. Malachy's are a lot more put the ball on the floor, dribble, drive, attack, trying to create opportunities. In Paul Kelher's ridiculous language, Pearson spray basketball. But then down the far end, you're seeing a lot more patient screening and Mount Hawk trying to get the ball inside and then work uh, kind of outside in or inside out. So it's good to see two different styles because there aren't any huge players on the floor but it's two teams coming out of it a different way but both doing it well within their own style and that was team files from Alaki so she goes to lane for two and he hits the first can't get the second but O'Sullivan with the rebound kicks it a nice drive inside by Evan Boyle who will go to lane for two inside the last minute of the first. Boyle hits the first. Can't get the second to drop, but O'Sullivan gets the rebound again. And it's gonna be a jump ball. Maliki's ball. Yeah, but his energy and his physicality have been unmatched on the floor so far. He's been a big part of this, and even though they gave up the jump ball, it just means they're going to start the second quarter with the ball, so nothing too bad there for them. And he's off the floor now, being replaced by Oshin McGivney just to get a break. Shot goes up from Malachy's, but they can't get it to fall, and it's Sheehy again for Mount Hawk. Puts it, gets it back on the wing, tries to drive baseline, gets all the way, can't get the finish, rebound inside, and Malachy's ball, with 22 seconds left to go, nice drive, but again, too much on it, she trying to get the last shot for Mount Hawk, ball goes inside the boiler, He's double teamed in the post, but still gets all the way through and draws the foul. Yeah, good patience there by Bowler, good footwork as well, gets into the basket. And that's some, as young players, it's going to be disappointing for Malachy's that they took possession of the ball with 22 seconds to go, down by three. They had the opportunity to run the last offense of the, of the quarter, and instead they took a quick shot allowed Mount Hawk to come down the far end of the floor and suddenly a, a three point lead has the potential to go out to four or five. 
Piler can't make the first. But does hit the second. Three seconds left in the first. Malkies will be looking for the quick shot. Long shot up, doesn't go. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. 16 to 12 to Mount Hawk. And we're back in the second. Mount Talk with an early lead, 16 to 12. Um, Connor Daniel Boiler just had the two free throws in that first quarter, and he was one of their top scorers in the previous round with uh, 23 in the first round, 28 in the second, and 22 in the third game. What do you think um, Mount Talk have to do to try to get him more involved? Yeah, I think they've been posting up, uh, posting him up, and trying to get him involved. The issue is that. Malachy's and Adrian are, are smart. You, you can see that traps have been coming and they're not get, they're swarming him when he does get the ball in the post. So as much as they're going to try and get him involved, it's going to be if he's creating openings for the rest of his teammates, they're going to be uh, Mount Talk are going to be pretty happy with that as well because obviously they have options all over the floor. So as you take away, at, you know when you get to B and C level, if you take away one option, that can often kill a team. But at A level, they're going to have lots of different options. Hard foul on Brian Kahlo, and that's going to be a foul on the Mount Hawk player. So it's going to be two shots for Brian Kahlo. <laughs> John Dowling wanted to agree to disagree with Patch on the, uh, that call. Patch is the funny side on it as Kahlo hits the first. And the second, 14 to 16 now to Mount Hawk, as Adrian O'Sullivan, or Adrian Fulton gets another sub ready to go in. Sheehy with the ball for Mount Hawk. Gets it to the wing, looking for Bowler inside, doesn't get it, reverses. Drive baseline. She gets it again at the top. Good defense here from Mount Hawk. And forced the shot clock violation. Or not. Donnelly with the ball for St. Malagies. Finds Kalo. Can't get the reverse finish to drop. Donnelly with the steal. And the layup from Luke Donnelly. Yeah, nice finish by Donnelly there. Uh, sloppy turnover by Mount Talk and you see the press here again from Malachies. They've extended that pressure. They're willing to trap, but then fall back into a man. Again, as you said, a really well coached team. A nice steal there again. And that's two steals there from Donnelly for Malachies, but they lose the ball. And Mount Hawk come away with it. She in the corner waiting for the screen for Bowler. Gets into the key, puts it up, but it's stripped by Malachies. A foul on the Malachies player, and O'Sullivan is checking back in for 
Mount Hawk, along with Rowan Grattan. This will be Malachy's ball on the sideline. John Lee with the ball for Mount Hawk. Ryan Kalo. Jake Kalo. And the baseline drive. Ends up on a jump ball. Yeah, that was one of Malachy's weaker offenses. They got caught just staying on the same side of the floor. It's very hard to create lanes to the basket if you're only going to be on one side of the floor and not reverse it. So they only got a couple of seconds of the shot clock. And Ryan Kalo hits a big three for Malik East. And they're straight into that press. Yeah, his dad, Mike Kalo, just moved the fastest that anyone's seen Mike move in at least 15, 20 years. Mike's been here a long time in Ireland. He's obviously an American who was involved with Belfast Star. Nice ball inside there to Bowler. And he gets the basket for Mount Hawk. Here's Don Lake. Drives, penetrates, spins, and finishes. Nice finish there from Don Lake. Yeah, really nice spin move. And then the far end, we saw Bowler was getting fronted as we see traps here. Good. And Bowler gets the ball again under the basket and it's an easy finish. Yeah, that's the risk of when you're being aggressive, trapping and extending full court, but immediately after that uh, basket, you could see Adrian Fulton telling his team to go, go, go. So they want the faster pace. They want it to be open. They don't have that size like Bowler and Dundee inside, so they want this up and down frenetic pace with their guard play. And it's Kalo gets the basket and the foul. And we'll go to the line for one extra. Lovely footwork. Caller number 11, Michael Donnelly, since his comment has been really. Um, oh, we have a timeout on the floor. We'll finish that when we come back. We're back in the second, 4.28 left on the clock. Malachy's 23, Mercy Mount Hawk 20. Just before we went to the break, Connor was saying Michael Donnelly, since he came back on in the second, has been really aggressive defensively, forced a lot of turnovers, really um, leading that, that press. Um, he's had a big effect on the game. Yeah, he's been very impressive. Uh, as I said, this Malachy's team, a lot of guards, like we've seen so many times with them in recent years, a lot of guard play. Really aggressive, drives the basket, cut, cutting well, well organized defense. You can see here, they've been trying to front Bowler a lot of the times. They got beaten the last time on it, but they're fronting again there. Good help, but. Nice pick and roll there, with O'Sullivan, but he can't get it to finish. Does get the ball, finds she at the top of the key. Then you get a shot off here. Five left on the shot clock, Sheehy. Drives, spins, and finishes. Yeah, nice there by she and that was the most patient Mount Hawk offense they've had in a while. And she's influence has been kind of negated a little bit in the second quarter because of the the press, and it often gets the ball out of his hands. But nice pass ahead there. Boiler gets the block on 
Kalo and then gets the finish on the fast break. Waited for the man to go up and then finish. Here's Donnelly with the step back three. Big shot from Michael Donnelly. Now it's just fun watching two well coached, well organized teams with good talent playing the school's basketball game. It's been really high quality so far. She with the ball for Mount Hawk. They try to find Bowler in the post. They do. He's doubled, kicks it out. But a foul on Michael Donnelly there. Commits the foul on number level Thomas Kennedy. And he'll go to the line for two for Mount Hawk. Well, you saw again, he asked the question what can they do to, what can Mount Hawk do to get Bowler involved? But that's what's going to happen in the half court. Anytime you touch the ball, traps are coming and other guys are going to have to beat them. But we've seen on the flip side, it's been in transition that he's been able to get good opportunities. And Kennedy is one from two at the line. Turnover there from Malachy's. And Mount Hawk will get the ball on the end line. Trying to break the press. Here's Sheehy, guarded closely by Donnelly. Gets all the way, nice look inside, but just can't get it to stick to Sullivan. Yeah, we can see, as he <laughs> because the traps are coming in the backcourt, if he bring, brings it over, he knows that he has to make a decision quickly, which is what exactly what Adrian Fulton wants. He wants to speed up Sheehy and force Mount Hawk out of their kind of deliberate, patient offense. So any time that they do speed up like that, it's advantage to Malachy's. And that's a foul on O'Sullivan of Mercy Mount Hawk, so it's going to be inline ball to Malachy's. Ball goes into McArthur. Nice finish, nice play there from the inline corner. Yeah. Uh, a simple back screen and leading to a layup. It's actually the second time that it's been effective for Malachy's and John Dowling and Jimmy Diggins are frustrated over there on the sideline. Kennedy spins inside, gets it to O'Sullivan, gets it up, rebound by Boiler, aggressive rebound, gets it and gets the basket. Good rebound inside from Boiler. Yeah, it was a good rebound, he ends up getting it, but just to go back to it, I think O'Sullivan's a big part of that. He didn't finish himself, but he created a lot of the attention that gave Bowler the opportunity. Bowler gets the block, Donnelly nearly stripped it away, but comes off him, and it's going to be Mount Hawk ball. Sheehy guarded closely. Mount Hawk get the ball, break the press, and get the ball into the corner. Bowler with, at it, with it at the top of the key, drives and is fouled. Van Dylan asking for the unsportsman. It's, that's basketball ultimately. One coach says it's an unsportsman like the other coach is upset that there's a foul at all. But that you could see there, the difference. Mount Hawk beat the press and then we're patient and set up an offense. And we have a timeout on the floor, 155 left to go. We're back with 151 left in the second. Malachy's with a 29 to 27 point lead over Mount Hawk. Mount Hawk 
go into the line through Daniel Bowler. Very close game so far, Connor. Yeah, very entertaining, high quality. Lots going on. Uh, both teams tactically set up a bit differently from each other, and it's just a battle to try and have things run the way that they wanted. So the higher pace, more chaos, a little bit, and then try a penetrating kick from Malachi's compared to using a little bit of size, the more deliberate uh, kind of offenses from Mount Hawk, and then solid half court defense. As Byler goes one from two from the line, making it a one point game. And that's going to be off with Sullivan. It's going to be Malachy's end line. We're going to look for that under the basket and don't get it this time. McCotter gets the ball out. Three goes up and it's in and out. And turnover there. For Malachy's drive inside and a foul for number 13, Sile Sherlock. So he's going to go to the line for two. Foul on Sheehy. Sherlock hits the first. Can't make the second. And Malachy's can't save the rebound, so it's going to be Mount Hawk ball. Malachy's into the press again, trying to keep the ball out of Shee's hand, and it works. And they get the, the turnover. The sideline ball for Malachy's, and they're really putting the pressure on from those inbounds to make sure that ball doesn't go into Sheehy's hand, Connor. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Uh, even if it does go to she, they then have the opportunity to trap. So, uh, and yes, look, it's a two-point game, so they haven't been able to take huge advantage of the turnovers that they've created so far. It hasn't led to many runouts or anything else. A lot of kind of dead ball turnovers or the ball thrown away, and then they've been able to set up their defense. So that's the one good side of the turnovers so far for Mount Hawks' perspective. Endline um, ball. In from Ryan Kalo. Going to get the ball inside into the post. And it's Sherlock with the shot. Misses it. And Sheehy with the ball. She's still going. <laughs> Points it up, tries to set up the offense. Goes ahead, takes it to the opposite side. And find the Ball inside to Donald Sullivan who draws the foul. Yeah, she did very well there. He got trapped. Uh, he was almost in a trap three or four times, but ended up getting it back out. They ran the offense, got it inside, and got a good option. Ball nearly stolen there for Malachy's, but a little too aggressive, and it's going to be a foul. It's going to be their fourth file. So next file for either team is going to be team files. Yeah, I think that could be the it is the third file on Conor McGreer as well. So the fouls are starting to add up. Two players in, with three fouls is a concern from Maliki's perspective. And that's going to be another file there on Sherlock. So O'Sullivan will go to the line for two. Try to tie up the game with 31 seconds left in the second. Can't make the first. Or the second, but he gets the rebound. Drive, spins. And can't get the layup to finish either. Malachy's out on the break. Find Sherlock down low and a great block there from Mount Hawks. Number 11, Tomas Ke Kennedy. It'll be interesting here now. The shot clock's off, so 
Malikis, are they going to recognise it? Oh, they end up turning the ball. They should have had the last shot. But they may have it back. Another loose ball. So, But it's going to be a Mount Talk ball. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. There's a, a foul called. Foul called on number 10 for Mount Hawk. So it's going to be two shots for St. Malachy's. Number seven, Connell McGurr at the line. This is the first. And the second. Mount Hawk get away with the ball inside the last 10 seconds. Final Sullivan, he drives. Can't get it to fall, and a foul there by Bowler, which is going to send Malachy's the length of the court for two shots, with one second left in the game. Yeah, it's a frustrating one, but at the same time, I think John Dowling, his, his players are being aggressive. They're trying to make an impact on the game, so these are the ones you kind of learn from. And Malachy's missed the first. But does hit the second, giving them a 31 28 lead. And we have a timeout on the floor. And we're back with 1.7 seconds left in the second quarter. Malachy's leading 31-28. John Dolan has drawn something up to try to get a shot in the last second, Connor. Yeah, we're going to see. Just don't fail. Don't fail. Malachy's still it. Can't get the shot away. But that's going to be the end of the second. 31-28 to...
And we're back in the third quarter of the under 19 A Boys Panergy All Ireland Schools competition. St Malachy's leading Mount Hawk 31 28. Top scores in the first half for St Malachy's on eight points Jake McOtter and Ryan Kahlo. On seven, Michael Donnelly for Mercy Mount Hawk. Number 12, or number 14, Daniel Bowler with 12. And number five, Eddie Shee with seven. And Don O'Sullivan with five. Connor, very tight game so far. What do you think the keys are for both teams um, to get success in this game? Yeah, I think uh, Malachy's continue to look to create chaos, trap, try force turnovers, get out and run, whereas uh, Mount Hawk, they'll run when they can but they want to be settled run a, a decent half court offense so beat traps get up running offense and try and get the ball inside and then work from there but uh, it's been very entertaining first half the worry is that there's been quite a lot of fouls called in that first half uh, so hopefully foul trouble and uh, free throws aren't the story in the second half as Sheehy has the ball for Mount Hawk. Donnelly going one for two for the line for Malachy's. Just as we were talking, nice fake there. And the shot goes up. O'Sullivan with the rebound. Drives in. And lovely left hand finish. Make it a two point game. Here is Ryan Kahlo for Malachy's. Finds Donnelly. Shot goes up. Doesn't get it to fall. A nice shot, but can't get it to fall. And rebound by Bowler for Mount Hawk. Kennedy to Bowler. Bowler fakes, drives, gets it inside to O'Sullivan, who draws the foul. And that's going to be on number 11, Michael Donnelly. Yeah, and as we just talked about, Paul, oh, that's the fourth foul. Anton Lee, who had a big impact in that second quarter in particular, and then we have, I think, I'm just looking here, we have one on four fouls, one on three, and then between the two teams, another, I think, five guys on two fouls each, so it's not the way you want to see these games decided. You want the talented play, oh, lovely bounce pass. You want the talented players to ultimately decide who's going to win this game, but there are a lot of foul calls, so it's something that both teams need to be mindful of and adjust if they need to, so uh, it'll be interesting to watch. And a lovely pass there from Jake McOtter. Find Michael Donnelly cutting the baseline, and he's fouled and goes to the line for two. Can't hit the first, but does make the second. And as I said, he was on his fourth file, so he's going to be subbed off by Adrian Fulton. Yeah, and even there in the last play, O'Sullivan uh, for Mount Hawk picked up his third foul. So, um, unfortunately, we're, we are seeing it play out as we kind of worried about the potential of fouls being a big part of this. Boiler with the rebound, gets the shot off O'Sullivan. Gets it, another rebound and gets the finish. And is looking for the call. Doesn't get it. Last break from Malachy's. A nice reverse finish there by Jake Kahlo. Malachy's gotten out in transition very quickly. Mount Hawk through Sheehy. Finds O'Sullivan in the corner. He's going to drive, spin. Another finish. Some big scores from O'Sullivan there, Connor. Yeah, we said from the very start he's the most physical and most direct player on the floor, so he's had a big impact, and that's a lovely take and lovely finish, though, for, for Malachy's, but O'Sullivan has a big impact, and he has three fouls, so it's definitely one that it could be a game-changer if he picks up a, a fourth foul. And that was Ryan Kahlo with that lovely finish for Malachy's. And O'Sullivan steps through again and gets another basket. Yeah, they haven't found an answer for him yet. Inside, that's back-to-back baskets. I, I need to see it again. It looked like Malachy's have a changed defense. Uh, a big shot there for Malachy's. Three points.
And here is Sheehy with the ball for Mount Hawk. Trying to find the ball inside to O'Sullivan again, but that's tipped. Kennedy gets the loose ball, drives, kicks it to the corner. Shot goes up, can't get it. And O'Sullivan with the rebound. Another rebound. But Malachy's retained possession this time. He even created a little bit of space for the chicken wing there for himself. Just something he needs to be careful of. Lovely pass. Another lovely bounce pass for, from Ryan Kahlo there. We found Jake McOtter on the cut. She with the ball for Mount Hawk. We try to feed the ball in the boiler. Kahlo comes away at the steal. Drive and kick. And foul drawn by Jake McCotter. So he's going to go to the line for two. Jake McCotter and Ryan Kahlo on the Irish under-17 panel at the moment. Connor, and they're having a big impact on this game. Yeah, they're having a huge impact. Uh, two really talented players, long rangy guards able to attack the basket. And just as we were talking about it there, that fourth foul ended up on Donnelly, so... That will be his fourth foul. He's been the consistent offensive threat. They've done a great job of limiting Bowler inside, but it's very hard to limit two big guys inside. And Donnelly's having the best of his matchup inside. So, Donald O'Sullivan. Or sorry, O'Sullivan. I don't know why I call him Donnelly, but sure, it's easier to go by that. Yeah, well, that is both Donnelly and O'Sullivan now sitting on the bench with four fouls each as number eight. Oshin McGibney checks in for Mount Hawk. As they look to chip away at St. Malachy's lead. Sheehy with the ball to Kennedy. Finds Bowler inside. And finds the new man McNibney on the baseline cut. And he finishes for Mount Hawk. Yeah, there's a bit of depth to both teams. They have contributors who are able to come in off the bench. Yeah. Kalo just missed that one, he kind of leant back a little bit as he released it, but there are contributors on both sides and just re-emphasizes just how well coached they are that there's all sorts of people able to step up. She finds Kennedy, fakes the three, dribbles in, but can get it to the basket. She got the rebound, but was turned over by Jake Kalo. So it's going to be Malachy's ball. With 3.26 left in the third. Malachy's leading 42-38. Ryan Kahlo getting some instruction from the bench. Takes his man on baseline. But steps out of bound. Good defence there from Mount Hawk. And a sub for Mount Hawk. As number 10 Evan Boyle comes on for Tomas Kennedy. And here is Sheehy with the ball for Mount Hawk. Looking for Bowler at the top of the key. Gets it to Boyle, who's just come on. Nice behind the back, step back. Can't get the shot to fall. Bowler at the top of the key finds Sheehy. Sets the pick. Good defense here from Malachy's. Trap him in the corner. Needs to get the shot off quickly. Oh, that's going to be a shot clock violation. Yeah, that's brilliant defense by Malachy's there in the half court. Didn't give anything to um, Mount Hawk, fell asleep. And Jake McOtter finishes on the second attempt from the pass from Ryan Kahlo. A bit of momentum now here for Malachy's to open up a six point lead. O'Sullivan was the kind of core scoring threat in the second half so far for Mount Hawk. He's sitting down as well, so a really important period here for Mount Hawk. She with the ball for Mount Hawk, tries to find Bowler. And just as you say, Connor, with the amount of attention they were giving Bowler in the first, it opened up O'Sullivan. And now that they can't get that and trying to force the ball in to Bowler, they're really struggling and causing a lot of turnovers. It's going to be a shot clock violation. Two big defensive plays there from Malachy. 
Yeah, any coach that can get back-to-back -back shot clock violations caused by his defense is going to be very happy. So six-point lead, two minutes to go. This could be a danger kind of time for Mount Hawk. As Donnelly gets to the basket but can't finish. And Mount Hawk looks to get out in the break. Through Sheehy. Drives, spins and gets the foul. From Conor McGurr. So Sheehy will go to the line for two. I think that's four on McGurr as well. It is, yeah, so... She can't hit the first. Does hit the second. Seems like Adrian Fulton's going to leave McGurr in. Kalo tries to get the ball inside. It's going to be a foul by Sheehy. And a timeout called by Adrian Fulton. And we're back with in the third quarter here with 140 left. Maliki's leading Mercy Mount Hawk 44-39. And it's going to be a sideline ball here for Maliki's. Tom Lee with the ball. And it's Kalo from deep behind the three point line and gets a lovely shot yeah there's a feeling that that was coming in the arena it's momentum is very much shifting Maliki's way and an eight point lead now Mount Hawk have to come up with a response and it's likely not going to be able to just be getting the ball into Bowler because they're doing such a good job of taking that away she finds his man in the corner can't get it to fall and McCotter comes away with it. He's going to drive all the way. Or can't make the finish. And inside the last minute. It is Sheehy for Mount Hawk. Takes the pick from Bowler. Gets it to the corner. Gets it inside. Kicks it out. Three point attempt. But that's off. And Maliki's come away on the break. Nice steal though by Mount Hawk. Bowler gets to the basket, can't finish. Sheehy gets the rebound and does. Yeah, great job by Sheehy to keep it alive. And we'll see now. 25 seconds, 20 seconds left. The 17 on the shot clock, so only a less than, or just over one second difference. But it looks like Malikis are going to ensure that they get the last shot of this quarter. Now they're going to go a little bit earlier. Lovely finish. And Kalo isolates on Bowler and gets a lovely finish. But all the way to the basket. Mount Hawk going to take the last shot here. Sheehy fires it up. And can't get it to fall. So that is the end of the third. 49-41 to St. Malachy's of Belfast.
And we're back in the last quarter of the under 19A boys Tanerji Schools Cup final. And it is St. Malachy's of Belfast with the 49 to 41 lead over Mercy Mount Hawk of Tralee. And Brian Kahlo straight from the start gets to the basketball can't finish. Connor Malachy started to take the momentum of the game there, coming to the end of the third. What did Mount Hawk have to do to get back in it? Yeah, I, th I think they're going to have to find either one or two outside shots or else something in transition. They're finding it very hard against this man-to-man, uh, -man, so Malachy's are denying Bowler a lot and then sagging in everywhere else, trying to make it really difficult to attack in the middle, so they're going to have to find offense somewhere else and they're going to have to get some stops because... Uh, at the moment, Malachy's are doing a much better job of attacking the basket, but you can see Mount Talk led that first quarter. They won that first quarter, but since then, the second and third quarter were both won by by Malachy, se by seven in the second and by five in the, in the third. So it's certainly all been shifting in Malachy's direction, although it's still just an eight-point game. Jay Kahlo there with the foul after getting his own rebound. We see Michael Donnelly check back in on four fouls for... St. Malachy's shot in the corner doesn't go and it is Michael Donnelly with the ball for St. Malachy's drives <laughs> but gets blocked inside by McNibney and Mount Hawk get out in transition and get the score yeah it's a bit of contact there no call leads to the fast break and that's what we said that Mount Hawk needs Again, a bit of contact, nothing but a good finish inside. And one of the hard things when you're coaching, particularly at underage level, is Malachy's have been up-tempo and kind of trying to push the pace. And Mount Hawk have been going the other way. And now in this fourth quarter, Mount Hawk are probably the ones who need to take the tempo up a little bit. And Malachy's may want to slow it down slightly. So it's how do you adjust that and, and yet stay true to yourselves. So that's going to be interesting to watch in this fourth quarter. And Donald O'Sullivan checking back in for Mount Hawk on four fouls. Also checking in at the start of the fourth there is Paddy Lane, the MVP of the under-16 game. As Donnelly gets to the basket but is blocked <laughs> by Daniel Bowler. Yeah, great block by Bowler off the board. And Paddy Lane gets the shot up and makes a fall. So... Paddy Lane coming back off his MVP performance in the under-16 games gets Tralee's last, or Mount Hawks' last two baskets. An offensive foul, which I think is, is going to see... It is going to see Donnelly foul out of the game. It's a cheap offensive foul to go out on. And back into the game is McGurr also on four fouls. Shot goes up from Kennedy as rebounded by Sheehy. And he gets the basket. Cutting into that lead now. 51-47 to St. Malachy's. Yeah, you can see O'Sullivan is the heart and soul of this uh, Mount Hawk team. He's the one who brings the energy. It's a big shot. And it's a bit of momentum going the way of Mount Hawk. They trail by only four. We've already seen Donnelly foul out. We still have uh, McGurr who has four fouls. So an outside shot here or a good look inside has potential to lift the roof off the place. O'Sullivan does a good job. Keeps it alive. Great battling. And it's going to be a foul on Malachy's. <laughs> O'Sullivan lost the ball on one side of the floor and ended up on the floor almost by the three-point line over there. Incredible hustle by him. And that is going to be Mount Hawk ball from the end line. And it's stolen away, or nearly stolen away. O'Sullivan's not given an inch or given any loose ball up at the moment. He has to be careful, though, being on those four fouls. Yeah, but it's going to remain Mount Hawk ball. They have another opportunity. 5.04. Only down four. They're right there. And as I said, a shot here would bring the house down. And nearly was there from Sheehy. He misses the long three. Boiler gets the rebound, though. 
tipped away by Donnelly. And it's going to be my top ball. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, I'd love to see them try to get the ball into O'Sullivan and see what he can create. He was having success. And here we go. <laughs> Tries to force his way to the basket, but can't get it to fall. And a oh, lovely backdoor cut by McGuar, but another block by Daniel Bowler. It must be his fourth or fifth block of the game. Yeah, his second one in this fourth quarter off the board. We have an open shot in the corner. No, good job by Malachis to get back. Kennedy to Sheehy. Finds but tries to find Butler. Doesn't get to Paddy Lane on the corner. Ball's there to be won. It's on the ground again. And it's Paddy Lane. And he draws the foul. Adrian Fulton, I don't think, was happy with that call. Yeah, from my point of view here, it looked like I probably would have agreed with it. Lane did a good job. So he's going to have a chance to get to the free throw line. And we're going to have a time on the timeout on the floor. 4.08 left in the fourth. We're back with 4.08 left in the fourth. St. Malachy's leading Mercy Mount Hawk 51 47. But Connor, Mercy Mount Hawk starting to get back into this game. Yeah, the momentum has been going their way. And yet for the last two or three minutes, there's been no score. I don't think on either, or maybe the last two minutes, there's been no score in the team. So these are big free throws. It's a four point game. And if we can make it one possession, the pressure is starting to really come on Malachy's. Paddy Lane can't hit the first. But he does hit the second. And now it is a one possession game. 51 48. As Ryan Kalo brings the ball up for Malachis. That's going to be a foul on Paddy Lane. Going to be a sideline ball for St. Malachy's. Kalo gets the ball at the top of the key. Try. Gets the ball reversed. And Malachy's don't get the foul call. So that is Jake Kalo turns the ball over. And it's going to be my top ball. Yeah, it looks like Jake's feet went from underneath him as he. Went to the basket. As Malachy's looked to press. Rory Wall from Basketball Ireland doing a fantastic job getting up off his seat for the first time this week, Paul, and cleaning the floor there. Big shout out to Rory. And here is Mount Hawk trying to get the ball in against this press, and it's Paddy Lane with the ball. Ball stuck in the backboard and nearly stolen away. It is an eight second call though. If it's 16 seconds on the shot clock, it can't not be an eight second call. 
I think that's the point Adrian Fulton is trying to make. <laughs> and that is the call. Yeah, it's, it's tough on Mount Hawk, but they took a little bit too long and they got away. They almost got away with it, but it was a turnover, so the pressure pays off again for Malachis. Ryan Kalo with the ball for Malachis. He sees a gap, he drives, and another block by Daniel Bowler. Yeah, fantastic block by Bowler. That time he extended his arms straight up and still managed to block it, so he has that long wingspan. Malachis with four seconds left, three. Have to get the shot up. They're not going to, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Yeah, we saw the two shot clock violations to start the fourth quarter, I think it was, for Malachis, and now Mount Hawk do it on the defensive end, so have a chance to tie up the game if they can hit an outside shot here, although they'll be looking to get it inside. Fine, Bowler at the top of the key. Paddy Lane is going to take the three-pointer. Can't get in the fall. As Kalo gets the ball in the corner, takes the shot. And Mount Hawk come away with it. Yeah, it's on a knife edge here, certainly. She with the ball. As McGurk with the rebound, finds Ryan Kalo. He's going to take the shot. Can't get it to fall. Yeah, both teams have gone cold here, so next score is going to be absolutely huge. Sheehy takes the pick from Bowler. You really want to see Trilly get the ball inside here rather than set up for outside shots. They've just shot two threes in a row. They're going to shoot three threes in a row. And again, it misses. And it's going to be a foul, so I think we're going to have a timeout because I think John Dowling wants them to realise that there's still loads of time they need to attack inside which has been their game plan all along and it is going to be a time out to Point Hawk And we're back with 2.06 left in the fourth. Malachy's with a one possession lead, 51-48 over Mercy Mount Hawk. Malachy's try to get two inside, but it's going to be a jump ball. Yeah, good job by Shee getting his hands in there. That's going to stay Malachy's ball. Kalo drives middle, 
loses possession. And Mount Hawk trying to get out in the break. And that's going to be a foul on Luke Donnelly. Yeah, that's with the 14 foul as well. So, as we said, fouls could be still have a huge role to play in this game. Sheehy with the ball for Mount Hawk. Finds Kennedy in the corner. Can't get the three to fall. And that's going to be the team foul. Yeah, it's frustrating for Maddox there. They gave up an offensive rebound and then fouled. I think they've bailed out Mount Hawk a little bit because I think that's four shots now in a row that have been threes rather than trying to get the ball into the two big men who've had success so far for them. And she hits the first. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> it's going to be a close I, 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 I'm already uncomfortable. Can't hit the second, and it's Ryan Kalo with the ball for St. Malachy's. Kalo gets it again in the corner, guarded tightly by Boiler. Here's Kalo 4 3, and that's off, but it rebounded. That's going to be Mount Hawk ball. As Evan Boyle checks back in for Donald O'Sullivan. Okay, so we, I think it's really interesting here now. Do Mount Hawk go inside? Do they find a way to get the ball in? She is looking to fight and then to Boiler. He does. And Boiler can't get the finish but gets his own rebound. Goes up. And we have a tie game with 101 left. And we have a timeout. And we're back with 101 left here in the fourth tie game, 51 apiece. Bono we're in for an exciting finish. Yeah, it's it's been a fantastic game. I want to go home from work, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind seeing five minutes more of this. And it's Malachy's with the ball through Kalo. Finds Donnelly. Donnelly drives. And it falls. Oh, sorry, Jake McCotter there. Jake McCotter with the basket. Yeah, big response there. Maliki's hadn't scored in a while, so McCotter comes up with a great drive to the basket. What will the answer be? Boiler tries to drive, gets his own rebounds, foul, gets the score, and the foul, so he's going to go to line four to try and make the three point play. Yeah, uh, Adrian Fulton's arguing for the travel. It's, I don't know when he, the ball went up in the air, did he go get it himself? All right, wasn't knocked out of his hands, but either way, it's not going to matter. Bowler with the big response. He's been their leading man throughout today. So much attention given to him, but yet he still found a way to score and make a big impact, a couple of big blocks, so he has a chance to get the lead here for Mount Hawk. There's Tomas Kennedy checks back in. Bowler at the line. 
can't take the lead. 30 seconds left. As Jake McCotter gives it up. Malachy's nearly lose the ball. They find Ryan Kalo. He's got a lane to the basket and he draws the foul. Yeah, good take. Really good take. Good composure. He got to where he wanted and went knowing that he may not get all the way to the basket but he drove really strongly and we're going to have a timeout timeout called by my dog And we're back with 16.2 seconds left in the fourth. Every second counts here in this game with 53-53. Ryan Kahlo going to the line for two. Connor, this is going to be an exciting finish. Yeah, it's it's probably fitting that it was Bowler who tied the game up and now it's Kahlo who has the chance to give the lead back to Malik. He's the two best players on the floor so far today. Oh, <laughs> Kahlo banks the first in. I'm going to give him credit and say that he wanted to do that, but... Oh. And the second doesn't fall. 14 seconds left. Oh, God. Mount Hawk <laughs> with the ball. Long ball over. It's intercepted, but they still got it. Here comes Sheehy. Sheehy drives, kicks it. Boiler gets the rebound. It's fouled. He's fouled. Call's been made. And Boiler has the chance to win the game. Call was made before the clock went. And Daniel Boiler will step the line. With no seconds left in the clock. Of a chance to win the game. Big pressure on the shoulders of Daniel Boiler here. And he misses the first. So the best we can hope, Mount Hawk can hope for is a tie game. And he misses the second. And Malachy's win the under 19A Penergy All Ireland Cup tough for Daniel Boiler there Connor. yeah it, it, it's it's a horrible moment unfortunately for a great kid who's had such a huge impact in this game and uh, like Mount Hawk would not have been in that situation if he hadn't kind of helped carry them to that to that moment so like oh, you really you really feel for him and it's a lonely place being on the on the free throw line where there's no lineup, no time on the clock in the National Basketball Arena. But uh, it just has to be really emphasised how brilliant he was today and how he really carried his team on both ends of the floor and is the reason that they were right there. It, it really, really great game between two well-coached teams and 
<laughs> as dramatic as you, you could possibly get. Yeah, and a great performance from Daniel Bowler. He can hold his head up. I, I know that's very hard for him missing those two two free throws, but the blocks, the, the scores inside, everything, he's been fantastic um, for Mount Hawk. But it's Malachis who come away at the win, and uh, Ryan Kayla was a big performer for them, Connor. Yeah, Ryan was, was excellent, and uh, look, a fantastic game, and two well-coached teams, as we said. Malachis were fantastic. They deserved it. Mount Hawk gave them everything they could have handled, and... Uh, yeah, about as good a, an under 19A schools final as we could have asked for. That's Thank you very much for everyone for tuning in. So we're going to leave you with the um, medal ceremony now. So it's St. Malachy's of Belfast who win the under 19A Boys Penergy Schools Cup. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in from myself and Connor Mini. Thank you. <laughs>